Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today on behalf of Art Joy, and Share, Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group and the YouTube channel. The challenge this month for January 2019 is to come up with five smaller channels that could use new members or the, and that you find their art interesting, what they do, um, stimulating for your interest and to be inspired by. So here are my people. I know three out of five people. I've known them a while. The other two I don't know very well, and one of them I actually don't know at all, but I like her artwork. The first person I'd like to talk about is Linda Donald. I know Linda Donald via someone else's live YouTube channel, and we seem to get along up along the lines of doing jelly printing that we really enjoy it, and someday we're going to get it together so we can do a collaboration. Um, she does altered books, jelly printing, as I said, and journaling by five. She's a very soft-spoken person. You'll have to listen carefully when she speaks. And she has a very soothing voice. And she seems like she's a very nice person. Very calm. Not like me. <laughs> the next person is Susan Taylor Brown. I just call her STB. I don't know why. It's just easier than spelling out all three of those names. She does junk journals, eco-dyed papers, trifold booklets, and mini travelers. And if you have ever been to her channel and seen her eco-dyed papers, they will blow you out of the water. They're gorgeous. And her junk journals, she does custom junk journals, and then she does some junk journals to sell. Uh, I don't know if she, has a, if she puts them at Etsy store or if she sells them online, but they sell very well. So if you want one, you better speak up quickly because they go very quick. They, they're gone. Um, let's see, so let Susan Taylor Brown, and the next one, this person I've known for, I, can't, I think maybe it's a little over a year, and I know her for someone else's live channel, just by chance we seem to get on, and I really like her art, and I really like her as a person, she lives in the UK, and her name is Debbie Cork, her last name is spelled C-O-R-K-E. She doesn't have a big YouTube channel. She doesn't post a bazillion videos, but her videos are of wonderful glue books. She does glue books, squash books, collage books, and junk journals. And she's a delightful person. She likes to collect seashells. And when she goes on vacations, she shows you all these great places that she goes to visit. And she seems like a delightful person. Plus, she has a super cute little grandson. All right, so the next two people I don't know very well, but it's okay. So this person, I know I'm going to massacre her name, so I'm going to say I'm sorry in advance. Her name is Carla, and I think it's either Frizzell or Frizzell, F-R-I-Z-Z-E-L-L-E. -E. She sells junk journals made from altered books, usually golden books. I mean, she sells... Journals made from altered books, usually golden books, and she also does junk journals, and her books are really cute. I don't know her. I just know her via somebody else's live YouTube channel. She has, she, I think she has like 900 and some odd viewers, but, you know, in order to be monetized, you got to have at least a 1,000 viewers, so that last 100, I'm sure would make her thrilled. Last but not least at all, let me find my paper is Care Heart. I met her through yet another live YouTube. Seems like that's all I do, huh? Um, she has this organization, a Disabled Artist, I think it's disabledartist.org. It's um, a way of giving supplies that we either knew or gently use supplies to disabled artists who may not have the money or the means to buy stuff to do creative things. And it it also is a form of art therapy, and it encourages them to do things they wouldn't ordinarily do, which I think is a great concept. Um, she does all kinds of paper crafts. She had an auction the other day. I think the time on it was three hours where people sent in stuff. She made things, and then they were auctioned off, and the money went to the disabled artist. Um, she does clusters, and she's she had worked on a baby book. Um, and let me say this to care. I still have that box of beads in the back of my card that I've been telling you I'm going to send you. We're going on eight months now. I swear it's back there. <laughs> I just, 
get in the car and get out of the car and I think, oh, I should have brought it in the house. Next time I get in the car, get out of the car, I go, oh, should have brought it in the house. <laughs> so one of these days you're going to get my beads. All right, so those are my five people. If you could give them a like, a share, a positive comment about their video or their crafts, that would be great. And if you're not a viewer for the Art Joy is Sharing YouTube channel, you should give it a try. Um, Chelsea and Peg Robinson put a lot of work into it to show you different techniques and different types of art, supplies, and they have a good time. If you're going to belong, if you're going to watch the YouTube channel, then you certainly should try to get onto the Facebook group where there's more photos and more sharing and other people you can be exposed to who do different things for you than you or do things that you enjoy doing that you quite haven't mastered yet that might be able to help you out. This channel is about what it says, art, joy of sharing. It's the joy of sharing things that you know how to do, that others want to learn how to do, but they haven't quite gotten there yet. Um, so I think that's it. So please, check out these new people. All right, see you guys later.